Hello there, my name is Paul Ellis and I run the time and time again cookery school in West Sussex. Today I'm going to share with you some recipes, some chef tips to bring back the fun in home cooking. I'm going to show you how to make a pie dough. Many ways we can use our pastry for, to, for, a, for a steak pie, for an apple pie. Very simple way. The golden rule, half fats of flour. I've got two ounces of butter, four ounces of flour. Very simple. I've weighed out my butter. In goes my flour. If you were making a savoury, you know, you take off half the amount of butter and add the, add the rest for lard or dripping to make a real savoury pastry. Um, really nice. So what I'm do, basically doing now, I'm just mixing my butter through, um, through the flour. But it's always best to get your hands in there and, and form it to like a fine bread crumbs. So you're getting your hands in there. Mixing it through, and it starts to form a little dough. You can add some salt and pepper to your, to, to your, to your dough mixture. You can add some herbs to it. Entirely up to you what you want to add to your to your to your mixture. Um, but at the end of the day, it's all about personal taste. So it's starting to come to a nice little dough mixture now. That's what, exactly what I wanted now. So I've done a bit more flour. Sometimes the mixture can be, can be too wet, so add a bit more flour to it. Or if it comes a bit too dry, then add a bit of milk to it. You know, it's all about just getting the, you know, your dough mixture just right. Very important there. So, don't worry if it's too dry, add a bit of, you know, add a bit of moisture to it. If it's too wet, add a bit more flour to it. It's not the end of the world. So we've got a lovely dough type mixture here. Perfect. And that's ready to roll. I've put that in the fridge for a couple of hours, just a little rest. But I'm going to just show you very quickly how to roll it properly. So we have a little rolling board here. Just make sure you've got plenty of flour on, on your rolling pin and on the board as well. Get that on there. Now this should roll out quite nicely into the shape I need. So this could be my pie, for instance. So I'll roll my pastry out to the required size. Perfect. Absolutely no problem at all there. Looking really good. Very important to keep your rolling pin flowered up in between, otherwise it will stick to it. It's nice to sort of move the pastry around as, uh, as often as possible. It stops it sticking. So, got my pastry all rolled out, fantastic. So what I'm gonna do, I'm literally gonna to get my shape for my pie. So I've got a little um, pie dish here. I'll just, just show you a little example here. And we'll do it on top. Right here. And just cut that round. So remember my pastry has been here's in the fridge. I was in the fridge for a couple of hours to chill down so you can work with it quite quite easily. And there we have our pastry top for our pie. And that's how I make my pie dough. <laughs>